Reaper and No Regret, and it is actually going to be on Laralac Crest. Mm, this is going to be kind of cool. And, you know, both of these players, very aggressive players in their own right, but No Regret, a bit more of an all-in, cheesy, like, let's seriously throw my opponent for a loop. And Semper, definitely one of the more macro-oriented aggressors. Yes, yeah. Um, but anyways, spawning in the top left position from the team Psystorm Gaming, it is No Regret. Boy, does he live his life with no regrets. Except that last game. Except for that last game. No, he doesn't regret that either. No, nah, it was live for the moment. Yep. Down here in the bottom left-hand corner, though, we have the yellow Terran player from Team Gravity. Give it up for Gravity Semper. Talented Terran player. We do actually... There is a bit of history between these players in terms mm. of uh, ladder. We actually have a rather significant advantage for Semper in the head-to-heads in tournaments, uh, particularly really? online qualifiers, yes. Uh, no Regret has been knocked out of quite a few WCS Challenger brackets by oh, Semper. Uh, back in 2014, 2015, uh, yeah, that's been, that's happened more than a few times. <laughs> I believe it, man. Uh, both of these guys have probably hit each other quite a few times, just across all of the different qualifiers they're playing. Just North Americans in general are playing against each other a lot more these days. Yeah, this is actually crazy. No Regret is going three hatch gas pool. That is Ooh. an incredibly greedy build. And this actually might work out against Semper because Semper is going for a reactor first. And I believe he's done this build to me once or twice and he's very good at it. He actually goes for six Reapers. Oh, yeah. this, that's pretty cool, man. And this can really uh, talk about throw a player off. Yeah. Or shutting down No Regret's aggression before it happens. Kind of similar to what Huck did. Yeah, you can't make Banelings if they keep getting blown up by DA charges. Dude, I am still waiting for the day where I get to see Banelings just getting obliterated by DA charges. I still haven't seen it. Yeah. I or is it, waiting. is it KD8? Or KD8 charges. KD8, yeah. okay. KD8 charges. Yeah. I just so, repeated what you said, man. I'm blaming you. Yeah, for that. that. Oh, that was on. Chat's me. probably I, blowing up right now. They're yeah. like, what is it? What are these? Hashtag fire about? steadfast. Yeah. <laughs> are we? Uh, are we gonna see? Oh wow, he actually well, we went for factory. marines. That's mm. very interesting. Yeah. Uh, so this actually factory. works out extremely well for no regret. Mm. Doesn't have to worry about that aggression. Oh, but this actually could be pretty bad. Losing uh, this Overlord. I think the Overlord should survive unless the Marines go out and hunt it down. And that Overlord going to try and play a little bit of mind game saying, let me retreat to this direction. Get out of here as fast as possible. A couple Zergans are going to be making their way across the map. Nothing in an overwhelming number or anything like that. Meanwhile, SCV is going to scout that this was a very fast third hatch. That might actually prompt uh, Semper to move down with those Marines and try and snipe the Overlord. But it looks like it's already too far away. We see the LOL coming out from No Regret. Bit, <laughs> bit of a, uh, an interesting, uh, interesting turn of events. Uh, I, su I suppose just kind of saying, "LOL, like <laughs> I got the, I win the ma uh, mind game." Yeah. Sort of funny how that works out. One base versus three base is a good deal in my opinion. No regret, kind of letting him know he knows what's going on. Now the natural expansion is being taken. But again, very late, just because that factory and starport and everything was thrown down earlier. And we do have siege tanks being made. I, you know, I'm kind of thrown for a loop on this right now, because siege tanks are great, and they can do some cool pushes, but how do you feel about this, Steadfast? I actually like this a lot, especially against No Regret, because he's going to get that uh, medevac with the siege tank. It's going to allow him to be both aggressive and defensive. Uh, a lot of power in both. Uh, and which is good because we see No Regret is going for, oh wow, I don't know if I agree with this decision, but we do see No Regret actually going for a lot of aggression. Well, this may I very well believe. work out because you were talking about how, you know, huh. the medevac going to be loading up the siege tank, but in fact the medevac loading up the marines and moving across the map and there's not a whole lot over here for No Regret to, uh, oh, actually uh, encounter, I was going to say, uh, the defensive, but no, we're not going to be seeing that. He's rich pulling back all of his Zergans back home. Yeah, and we do see it is going to get cleaned up and forced away. Doesn't lose the queen, which is nice. Oh, actually, oh. running back in there to snipe the queen He's out is going to get taken down. Really nice heads-up play from Semper there. Mm, can't cut any corners against this guy. He loves his drop harassment. Definitely making it work. And also just pulling No Regret back after he made all those Zerglings. He was looking to maybe bust in the front. He could have taken out a siege tank, knocked down a couple of those uh, SCVs, knocked down that supply count. 
Yeah, just uh, just overall nice play. <laughs> uh, we do see no regret. Actually, quite a few workers ahead, up by twelve workers, uh, and getting just one evolution chamber. That's very interesting. I you don't often see this, just a single evolution chamber in ZVT, uh, unless they want to go for like a carapace. A plus one carapace, mass roachling, bane attack. Uh, nice repositioning on that liberator. Is oh. gonna actually, oh, oh wow, might actually get both. Oh, just one queen, but still, yeah. that's that's a really big pick off. Yeah, sort of surprising that even though Lair has been finished up for a good while, and as you were saying, you know, so many of the gas guys and everything being thrown down, we still only see, yeah, just Spire only just now going up, and oh my god, that liberator getting some good kills over there before the siege tank gets oh, dropped. Nice. And finishes off that queen. Nice target fire there from Semper. Actually, wow, three SCVs. Uh, interesting. Oh, actually, oh, that's oh. nice. He picks up the SCV and the tank. Wow. And that siege tank is being repaired up as we speak inside that medevac. You're going to see that uh, siege tank go from red to yellow eventually. I guess they're repairing a little bit slow. Well, they have to uh, have auto, uh, sorry, oh, yeah, repair you're right. auto cast. They do need yeah. auto repair on to repair it automatically, but, well, maybe Semper going to rectify that at some point. Rectify. Rectify. Yeah. That's so cute. He's like, I, you know what, David Kim, remove it. I'm still gonna go for my siege tank medevac harassment. Uh, <laughs> just siege you're up, not. This siege is still up happening. Manually. Yeah, and we do see a spire actually nearly yep. finished for no regret. And actually, mm. with that spire and plus one melee, this is uh. And such a hook of hooks coming up too. This might be a really aggressive push from no regret. Mm -hmm. Uh, if he wanted to play a long macro game, I would expect he'd be going for mm. that carapace as well. Yeah, I'm just sort of surprised though, because he only has three bandits coming out, and now he's uh, going to be making a lot of those mutilists. He still has a lot of gas available though. Uh, oh, he's he's supply block. Look at that oh. mineral and gas count. His overlord is only just starting. That is a bit of a mistake. That's actually he needs to build four more overlords. I'd yeah, say. Yeah, you know, I, I would actually say as much as you know, I'm a big fan of Norgrad. This is sort of the sort of uh, struggle that we end up seeing on Norgrad. Yeah. As he just doesn't have as much experience in the late game. He is prone to make these mistakes. And you know, of course, encouraged a little bit more at the LAN event where offline event pressure situation. These things can happen, but still. This is not something you want to have happen right now. Yeah, this is this is a rough actual position. Uh, he is going for that infestation pit, so he may be going for a hive, which is once again that oh, that's that a little bit uh, not no really? regret ish. Yeah, this is uh, I think maybe potentially going to be one of the first hives that many viewers have seen of no regret in a very long time. Uh, maybe in the unit preloader if you've ever seen them use that on the stream or something. But besides that, uh, I will also say. Crew spread not looking amazing from No Regret, but he is starting to get it out there a little bit. And of course, oh, that this can be, be rough on the right side of the oh. map. Doesn't lose any mutas, but I guess forcing this drop away, it's yeah. not going to do any damage. He should actually, I think, oh, uh, no, there's no bailings with this army. As Now they're going to be coming in. I was going to say, I think he could pick these medevacs off. Uh, uh no. Yeah, he's going to... Well, he should be able to surround it. Yes, and that's actually a pretty big pickoff for No Regret. That's a lot of aggressive potential at yeah. the window. Yeah. Oh, is he going to be able to pick that off? Ooh. Yeah, before it can unload. But at the same time, drop coming in the left-hand side of the map inside the natural expansion, and this is exactly where he knows No Regret's army is not, and he also gets a bit of damage done. Immediately he skips out of there. He's like, okay, I know you're coming for me. Boost not out, but is he going to be able to get out in time? It looks like just yeah. barely. That is That was a nice drop from uh, Semper, uh, taking advantage of while well, drawing the army out of position. Yeah, that's Semper for you, man. He will drop you everywhere and continue to harass you. But we do have Hive Tech coming up for No Regret. Got to keep these mutals alive, picking off a siege tank, killing off whatever he can right now, while he also continues to just take bases in. I've got to say, man, do we, ha do we have the overlays wrong? Are we watching Scarlet or something? I mean, the creep spread's not there, but we're seeing late game play out of No Regret. And you know what? I've got to say, I like it. Being able, to, ooh, okay. Being able a, to keep your mutals yeah. alive is important, but also yes. being able to go to the late game is a huge thing for Norga because it really will mess with his opponents a lot. Yes, uh, the one thing I'll say is he needs to get those gases at his fourth base. He is so low on gas, and once again, supply block. That's pretty unfortunate. Uh, uh, but he really needs those gases to be able to afford hive tech units. Really, you want uh, five base gas if you're going to go heavy ultralisk infester. But it looks like he's just going for oh. that. 
This is going to be a little bit weird, as the Mutals are going to be, you know, they're going to be picking off these Metamax and the Marines over there. That's going to be well and good, but this also buys more and more time for Semper to move into the natural expansion. Liberators in the mix as well, and there is that magic number of four Liberators for Semper. He can take out a quasi-infinite number of Mutalists, as some Zerg players would like to say. Oh, that, that Widow Mine, though! That was a big, friendly fire shot. Oh, those Liberators, also very low in health. I actually, I, I kind of wonder, can the Mutalists actually magic box to take on those Liberators? Though? I think they can with the right control, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it is going to come down to that control, though. Ooh. With those Marines, there's no way. No, no. Uh, I really don't want to see Semper. Semper needs to move back and repair those Liberators 100%. Yeah, a bit of a dangerous situation for both of these players, but I would definitely say no regret. Losing a couple of those mules is going to be a little bit painful. Does manage to clean up a lot of the stuff, but there are a couple of Widow Mines still left over at that natural expansion. No just waiting to actually explode on any kind of reinforcements. No regret is floating so much money. He needs macro hatches. Oh, he geez. needs a fifth base. This is... Well, this, <laughs> this is his failing. Uh, unfortunately, he just he's just not as strong in that late game. Yeah, this is a kind of reality for him. Uh, he may be banking up a little bit of that gas to try and get out those ultras as the first two are going to be on their way. But Steadfast, where is Kitness plating? Plus three armor or plus two armor upgrades, that's all well and good. It's also very important, but Kitness plating is the key upgrade. He needs to get that out. Yeah, it. there's no point in having ultralists in this day and age without that Kitness plating upgrade. Uh, myself, I've loved ultralists since Wings of Liberty. I always prefer them to Broodlord and Fester, but the simple fact is they suck without <laughs> Kitness plating. Well, he's going to be making a lot of bailings, maybe looking to buy a bit of time for those Ultralists get out, as he does have four on the way. Semper, though, not going to have any of it. Moving out across the map, can Semper do the damage he needs to before the Ultralists come out, before Kitness plating comes out? One Ultralist is actually getting caught a bit off guard. No Kitness plating, no plus two oh, armor upgrades. Oh, big Widowmind shots on those... Ooh, this army gets obliterated, but those Baneling gets are pretty good because at the same time, no regret moving in with the Banelings, killing off a lot of these workers, getting so much damage done. But at the end of the day, Semper still has 61 workers and he still has an army to speak of. Yeah, uh, and that Kitness plating was actually not done, so it was still two not one, done. 2 1 upgrade. Oh, wow. Is he going to get the Kitness plating? This is actually so oh. crucial. Drop at the top, it's so close, he stimmed his army to death to get this, and he's gonna be able to. That is a huge play from Semper, absolutely massive in this game. That could be completely game-changing. No regret has got to rethink his life decisions in this game. As he's just gonna say, well, you know what to hell with it, not make any more Ultralis, I need more Banelings, I need to try and get the hits, but unfortunately he doesn't really have the crease spread to make this work, and this army, as I was saying, is just gonna be able to kite back the Liberators, could easily be able to deal with these zero forms of anti-air in this army. Yeah, they're going to pick off the two mutas <laughs> left over. Oh, man. Well, they, they actually surprisingly end up buying some time over there. Uh, that does end up actually pushing this army back as, oh boy, that's a really fast expansion going down. And now this army can pick up. He doesn't even have to engage over here. Oh, really nice play from Semper. And all of a sudden, it is oh. three base to four in the favor of the Terran player. Yeah. And if he had Kitness Plating, I don't know, maybe, maybe he can do something, but without Kitness Plating, those Ultras are, are kind of paperweights. They're not great. Yeah, it's it's a frustrating situation right now for No Regret. He's not even bothering to remake that Ultras Cavern. There is a big drop coming oh, out of the top side. Oh, look at those Liberation Zones. Oh boy, at the same time, he's going to be defending his uh, main base in his third expansion while the drop goes into the main base. And oh my god. The hive is undefended. The hive, the infestation pit, the baneling nest, no more banelings. How devastating would that be? Turns around and is gonna take some big shots against those oh. corruptors. But the Ultralis getting some good damage done. They're actually pushing on it pretty far. So even though Semper's doing a lot of damage, taking out the infestation pit, the baneless, all those things I was talking about. Now going after the hive, the oh, Ultralis like are starting to get some good damage done. I'd like to see him target down that spire. I think that'd be really helpful in this situation. Oh, I think all of his uh, APM is busy trying to deal with these Ultralis that are cleaving his way through the third expansion. Every single one of these SCVs is going to be falling, and even though he loses the hive tech, and actually, does he even have a spawning pool after all? He doesn't have, does he have any production facilities? He has a spire and a spawning pool. That's it. I want to see what his larva count is. I don't think he has much larva at all. He has one larva. One larva. Three larva, two <laughs> larva. That is, that's not enough to rebuild an army. And no. even though he's killed a lot of workers of Semper, 
Semper's army supply. Oh, and he's oh. bleeding out Ultralisks to Liberators. Oh, first time building a hive. Uh, and Semper going to take the best of one, putting himself on the board. Yes, that's got to feel good. Absolutely. That's got to feel great. Yes. And bit of a Look questionable. At Look at that beautiful smile. That's that's the smile of a, a, a player that, that just survived no regret. That's a... That's a Look of someone who has seen No Regret's first Hive Tech. Yes, yeah. So. No Regret looking rather solemn. Uh, yeah. Says, I should unbind the hotkey for Hive. I don't know why I built that. Oh, boy. Yeah, Going maybe out. maybe hotkey that to Overlords. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Maybe a little bit too but soon. Then he, but then he still would never press it. <laughs> uh. Uh, but, of course, all jokes aside, No Regret definitely is still a very, very awesome player. I love yeah. watching him play. And it's sort of just interesting. Uh, you have to kind of wonder, it does a little bit of the mentality go into this, where you say, it's even though, yes, the seeding is important, you want to take these games. Yeah. Is this the time where you kind of say, look, I'm okay with playing a little bit different than I normally play? And maybe not revealing all of the crazy all-ins and cheeses he has planned. Uh, maybe he might have decided, you know what, I can't make that top four. I don't care about the seeding from there on. I'm just gonna play my game. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm just not gonna show him anything, mm -hmm. and I'll beat him when I meet him in the lower bracket. The most, you know, the people used to say the most cheesy thing you can do as a as cheeser, a yeah, is, play is a to play a macro game. game. Yeah, Artosis. Yeah. 2012, 2011. That's, uh, that's retro Artosis. 2000. 2000. 2000. Is I could see that actually being a thing. Artosis 